genuinely thank all the devotees for assembling here. It's been a really long day. Generally, all Saturdays are like that in our temple, starting with um, Mr. Dinesh Arivilas Maharaj's class, Mani class, then the Dhamudrashtakam class, then Amuglila Prabhu's class, and then finally, it, in, in Sanskrit, they say Madhurena Samapayit, you end with a sweet. But uh, sadly, I have, to, I have to put this out that today you all have to end with the bitter sweet. It's not going to be sweet, it's going to be really bitter and really salty. But I really hope and pray the devotees are kind. That they are kind upon me, not just by their presence, but they are kind upon me also with, with open eyes. <laughs> That's the kindness I am, I am looking out for, more than the physical presence. If the eyes can be open for a little more, more than an hour, uh, that will be really helpful as far as the speaker is concerned. So, in the previous sessions that we had, we have covered the nine cantos. And also in the last class, we did a quick introduction to the tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. In the interest of time, we are not going to go through all the nine cantos like the way we always do because we have some ground to cover. Uh, but nonetheless, we in our previous class started off with the tenth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And we had a considerable amount of introduction in that class even though it was comparatively a small class in comparison to our previous classes. But we had introduction, we introduced the 10th canto, we introduced as to why you should hear Srimad Bhagavatam, what are the benefits of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, how the speaker that Shukadev Goswami is bringing down the current of Prem. We gave the analogy of the Vedic tree and the ants. And we saw as to how the juice of mango, Srimad Bhagavatam is coming down in Parampara. And then we started off our class by making the point as to how in the chariot there were three personalities that evening. Who are the three personalities? Vasudev Maharaj, his wife, Devaki and Kamsa. Who, what is the relation between Devaki and Kamsa? Brother and Yes. So three personalities were there. There was this famous Akashwani, or the proclamation that was that was done that the fifth child is going to kill, right? The eighth, the eighth, eighth child. So the eighth child is going to kill who? Kamsa. 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 The A child is going to kill Kamsa. And naturally, when Kamsa heard this, Kamsa became very happy. Yeah. No! Yeah. <laughs> angry! Kamsa became very angry. And, and he immediately took the sword in, in his fit of rage, he took the sword and was about to kill Devaki. But Vasudeva Maharaj, he intervened and he was like the mediator, trying to make sure that his wife is protected. At the same time, he also promised Kamsa that every child that is born from the womb of Devaki, he will very faithfully come and give that child. We did some history when in the past we saw as to how or who is Kamsa Maharaj and Kamsa Maharaj is a personality by the name Kala Nemi. And Kala Nemi had five children. Six, six. six children. What were the six children called? Shadgarbha. Shad Garba. Correct. They were called Shadgarbha. And these Shadgarbha they had a curse and the curse was that in their next life their own father would come and he would kill all the six children and naturally in the next life naturally in the next life Kalinemi comes back as Kamsa. 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 Kalinemi comes back as Kamsa and the six children of Kalinemi they come back as the sons of Devaki correct they come back as the sons of Devaki and we made this point as to how Kamsa smashed and smothered the six children. What do six children denote? Six Anandas. Six Anandas. What are the six Anandas? Kama, Krodha, Moha, Madha, Matsa. Kama, Krodha, Moha, Madha, Matsa. Moha, Moha, Madha, Matsa. So six Anarthas and the six 91. 85 plus 6, 91. <laughs> 95, okay. <laughs> so the six children depict, they, they denote the six Anarthas and Kamsa, he killed 
all those six children. This is the point where we stopped last week. Today we will be continuing from the point where we left off. But before we start, we will chant the Mangalacharan prayers. We will seek auspiciousness from our spiritual superiors like Srila Prabhupada and then get started into today's discussion. Om Ajnana Timirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Make me dance, my dear Lord, just make me dance. He says, 
कथा शुद्ध हो बे सुनिया सवार लोक दुख जे गुछी बे ला प्रभुपाद is writing on the jalatuta he saying my dear lord once i reach the united states i will start speaking my hari katha will start katha shuddha ho be my dear lord if you shower your mercy whatever i attempt to speak in the united states in the in the in new york city in the in bowery whatever i attempt to speak there that katha will become shuddha katha shuddha ho be and then what happens shuniya sabar lok the people who will come to attend my katha dukha je guchi ve may their dukha and shok and anxiety and suffering and lamentation may that be completely gone my dear lord if you shower your mercy that's when my katha will become shuddha so it's it's a very beautiful prayer that we can use to start our discussion also if prabhupad has his mercy upon all of us then whatever we try to speak in the next one hour may that katha become shuddha and may it attract the hearts and minds of the audience and may the dukha be completely gone and very beautifully there prabhupad says that he compares himself to a puppet you see we've all seen a puppet a puppet has no independence based on how the puppeteer moves the puppet the puppet moves the strings of the puppet are attached to the hands of the puppeteer and based on how he is moving the puppet moves similarly shila prabhupada says my dear lord kashtera putaliyata my dear lord i am kashtera i am that puppet amake nachate and you are that puppeteer nachao nachao prabhu nachao se mate prabhupada at the age of 70 in new york city in the winters of east coast Believe me, the winters of Seattle is nothing in compared to the winters of East Coast. It's several notches more colder. And here, Ishwar Prabhupada, at the age of seventy, no contacts, no GPS, no Alexa, no Siri, no winter clothes, not knowing whether to go left, not knowing whether to go right, absolutely nothing. He knows nothing about that place. First time. He is begging. The prayer is coming from the heart, my dear Lord. You empower me. I am that puppet, and you are that puppet here. Bhakti nahi veda nahi. He says, my name is Bhakti Vedanta, but Bhakti nahi veda nahi. Prabhu Pad is saying. He is saying I have no bhakti. They have named named me Bhakti Vedanta, but Ved nahi aata, bhakti bhi nahi hai. Prabhu Pad is saying. Bhakti Vedanta nama. ebe sarthak koro my dear lord my guru maharaj has given me the name bhakti vedanta swami but if you want you can make that name worthwhile you can show the world that this person has bhakti and he has vedanta or he has veda only if you desire my dear lord so heartfelt prabhupad is is penning down this very beautiful prayer so the essence we see is in our discussion of course we can take this point that we hope and pray that whatever we try to speak may that katha become shuddha the speaker has no qualification but if prabhupad desires then this katha that we spoken for the next one hour may that become shuddha and may it attracts the hearts and minds of all the devotees having said this i prostrate myself by the lotus feet of prabhupad and i also prostrate myself by the lotus feet of all the assembled vaishnavas here please pray for me please bless me so that i can speak some favorable words in the glorification of the 10th canto of shriman bhagavatam kindly accept my very humble obeisances vansha kalpataru bhesha upasu devacha patita nam pavane dio vaishnavi dio namo so please pull up canto 10 chapter 3 text 47 Can it be pulled up here?
How do you... How do you maximize it? <laughs> <laughs> click on that thing. Oh, you drag it and drag it. Oh, yeah. And then... Okay, that's the same thing. Ready? Yeah. Visible for everyone? Yeah. Visible for everyone? Yes. Yes. Those who cannot, may as well pull it. Huh. Those who are sitting there, can I move? Is it too big? Perfect. So this is Canto 10, Chapter 3, Text 47. We will chant 47, 48, and 49. Our whole discussion will be based on three, these three verses today. That's it. 47, 48, 49. <laughs> so we can have a call and response. Tathascha Shaurir Bhagavat Prachodita Tathascha Shaurir Bhagavat Prachodita Tathascha Shaurir Bhagavat Prachodita Yeah. 
emotions are flowing in every word and in every alphabet in fact so the more we by heart verses the more it gives spiritual bliss the more we know verses wherever we are traveling it's not to show others but whatever service we are doing or whatever we are doing we can be typing an email but if we know verses we can just keep singing like this and that gives happiness once we know the meaning and we chant verses we know what the flow is we know what is going on in that section so this is this is something as as a homework um we can do of course i know one to instruct or order but this is something that if you feel inspired we can definitely do taking out some time every day at least 10 or 15 minutes the way we take out time for chanting the way we take out time for other services the way we take out time for our office work the way we take out time for everything else if we can take out 10 15 minutes for the verses of bhagavatam then the verses of bhagavatam will benedict us to eternally stay on our tongue we made this point last week when we were talking about shri pat sanatan goes for me did we make it or no i mentioned it somewhere no i didn't say i did right i is it the verse where like he prayed correct exactly i was pretty sure i had made that point shri pat sanatan goes for prayers to shrimad bhagavatam that he is 97 years old and he is doing giriraj parikrama and he cannot carry the volume of shrimad bhagavatam So Shri Pat Sanatan Goswami is praying to the verses that my dear Shri Mad Bhagavatam if you recite eternally on my tongue that even when I am doing Giriraj Parikrama I can just pull up verses and I can keep chanting. So this is something that we also can do. We may not be doing Giriraj Parikrama but we are doing services which is pretty much the same. So if we pray to Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam guarantees and it benedicts us to eternally stay on our tongue. And whenever we want we can pull verses. So having said this, we start our discussion now. All this while was was introduction. It's, it's eight twenty. I know we are already pretty late. We will try to cover as much as we can today. So just to reiterate, last week we left off at the point where the six children of Yashoda Maya, correct? No, no. They, 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 six children of Devaki were killed by. ंड as the seventh child of devaki now question arises why did balaram appear the the proclamation that was done was the eighth child will kill so why is balaram coming in between if krishna had to kill the seventh child could have also killed why is balaram interfering in between aatve bachche ko marna hai to balaram ka zarurat tha nahi why is balaram coming and if even if krishna wants to play with balaram balaram could have directly appeared in brindavan why is he appearing in mathura and then you know, appearing before krishna what is the understanding and our acharyas give two reasons why balaram appears before of krishna and why he appears as the son of devaki in the jail first this is going to be a class of multiple reasons as we go on for everything we are going to see five reasons 10 reasons 12 reasons etc So this is going to be a class of multiple reasons, and we are going to see Krishna's appearance in a way that probably we may have not heard before. So bear with me if multiple reasons are going to come. It's always good to write down because our memory is volatile. That's why in Hindi they say "pustak mein nahi," na "mastak mein nahi," "pustak mein likhna." <laughs> mastak we will forget, but pustak we may not. So whichever is convenient, book or iPhone or whatever, just make sure that. from iphone notes we don't transition to whatsapp to instagram to snapchat or to emails let that transition not happen so balaram prabhu he appears in the womb of devaki two reasons why balaram prabhu appears as the son of devaki first before balaram prabhu how many children are killed six, six. six children what did the six children indicate Six 
six anarthas. These six anarthas can be destroyed only by one person. Guru Tattva. It is only Sri Guru who can destroy the anarthas in the heart. Till the time the anarthas are there, even Krishna doesn't look at us. That is why we accept Sri Guru in our life by following the instructions of Sri Guru. By following the instructions of superiors. When we say Guru, it means Guru, Siksha Guru and anyone who is superior. By following their instructions, these anarthas that are there in the heart, we all have it. It, it may just vary, but we all have it. So these six anarthas who symbolize the six children who were there in the womb of Devaki, who were killed. Balaram Prabhu appears in the womb of Devaki to clean the womb because six anarthas were prevalent in the womb. Balaram <laughs> you see, if you, if you want to go, then please go. No problem. Because we, we are, there's, there's time crunch, so I just want to make sure we get every moment of whatever we have. Gordon Parikrama is <laughs> Ready? Set? Get set, go. Okay. So the six anarthas depicted by the six children were killed. And there is only one person who can destroy those six anarthas, that is Balaram. So Balaram first appears in the womb of Devaki, cleans the womb so that these anarthas are are not present and it's very interesting when this cleaning is happening at that same time Rohini is also there in Mathura because Vasudeva Maharaj has two wives oh, yeah. Devaki Rohini and at this moment both the wives are there in Mathura Devaki of course is there in the jail but Rohini is also in Mathura because her husband is there in Mathura so she is also there in Mathura so Devaki is pregnant with the seventh child that is Balaram at the same time Rohini Maya is also pregnant so Vasudev Maharaj both wives get pregnant pretty much at the same time now question arises Devaki has Balaram whom does Rohini have she is also pregnant what what is the child that she is holding in her womb interestingly that child is also Balaram <laughs> that child is also Balaram but now there is a difference Balaram in both places appears simultaneously. But the Balaram who appears to Devaki is an Amsha. What is he? Amsha, Amsha. means an, just an expansion. But the Balaram who appears to Rohini is Mool Sankarshan. Who is he? Mool. Which means the original person. The original Balaram appears to Rohini. But just a portion from that Balaram appears to Devaki Maya. So at the same time two Balarams have appeared to two different personalities in the same place that is Mathura. Mathura. So both are having Balaram at the same time but two different Balarams. One is an Amsha and one is Mool Sankarshan or the actual Balaram. Swayam Ru Balaram. Now at this time eventually Rohini Maya after she is pregnant she goes to Vrindavan Dham. She goes to Gokul Mahavan where Maya Yashoda is present and she starts staying there. Why she goes there to Vrindavan, we will see later in our discussion. Why she goes only to Yashoda Maya and not to anyone else, we will see that later. But for now, Rohini Maya is pregnant with Mool Sankarshan Balaram. She is going to Gokul Mahavan, Brajadam. Now Devaki Maya is having again Balaram, but that is Amsha. Now what is the purpose of Balaram in Devaki's womb? To clean, to clean, to clean, to clean, to clean what? The the anarthas. Oh, what are the anarthas? Six anarthas. Six anarthas. Balaram Prabhu cleans the womb of the six anarthas in seven months. How many months? Seven. Seven. seven months. In seven months, the whole cleaning is done. Now, once the cleaning is done, Balaram will not stay there because Balaram's purpose of adventing in the womb of Devaki is only one. That is cleaning. Jab saaf safai ho gaya. Balaram decides to move out. So stay, he stays in the womb of Devaki for seven months, then gets transferred. It's a wireless Bluetooth transfer. <laughs> wireless Balaram from Mathura to Gokul Mahavan gets transferred without anyone knowing. And he gets transferred to the womb of Rohini. Mm -hmm. Now you may think, wait a minute. 
यू सेड बलराम इज ऑलरेडी देर इन रोहिणी अभी एक और बलराम कहा से आ गया बच्चे दो दो धा क्या बोथ द बलराम फ्यूज टूगेदर दमश बलराम Fuses with mole subcursion. Are we there on the same page? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it going over? No. no. Feel free to stop. The last part. Do you want the white? No. Okay. If we start with the white board, then we will just get into it. Yes. So, Devaki Maya is having Balaram, who is Amsha. Roini Maya is also having Balaram, but he is mole subcursion, actual Swayam Roop Balaram. Balaram, why is he there in the womb of Devaki? For cleaning, cleaning of what? Six anarsas, the six children that were killed. Once the cleaning is done, Balaram cleans that in seven months. Once the cleaning is done, Balaram has no purpose now in the womb of Devaki. Now he gets transferred to the womb of Rohini, who is there in Gokul Mahavan. He gets transferred there. But now already Rohini Maya had a Balaram. She had more sankarshan. So now both these Balarams fuse together. That is Amsha Balaram of Devaki and Mool Sankarshan Balaram of Rohini. Both fuse together and they form one Balaram. Yes. But Prabhu, you said the Rohini Mata is in the... Madhura. 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 Yeah. Yeah. She later goes to Vrindavan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I made that point also. Yeah. 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 She was there in Mathura. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Vinay Prabhu. अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज वेन द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड वॉज ब्रॉट टू कम समाराज Kamsa Maharaj, as we remember last time we discussed, he gave the child back. He said he trusted Vasudev Maharaj and he gave the child back. And at that time they were not in prison when the first child was given. So when Vasudev Maharaj was outside with Devaki, he had a first child. At the same time, Rohini Maya was also there in Mathura. It's only when Narad Muni comes and instigates the transcendental chugli that happens. When he comes and instigates, that's when. Vasudev and Devaki are put behind bars, but before that they were outside and that's how. Six. Yeah. But how did this happen? <laughs> six. Now, who is having Balaram? Rohini. Rohi. Both the Balrams have fused. Fused. Fuse. Fuse. What are the two Balrams? Mola Sankarshan and Amsha. Mola Sankarshan of Balaram. Sankarshan. Of Rohini. Rohini. And Amsha. Both are fused together. Now it's one Balram, which means Devaki Maya's womb has empty. We are all there, right? Yes. 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 Our time is less. Let us try to be in sync as much as possible. <laughs> I am ready to go four hours. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> no, Madhuri said four hours. So I said. <laughs> That enthusiasm of Amangula Prabhu is is visible now. Mangala, Mangala. He does say Mangala, but he does it. So anyway, so now Rohini Maya has one Balaram. That is Moon Sankarshan and Amsha, which means Devaki Maya has nothing. Which means Kamsa Maharaj. This brings us to the second point. Kamsa Maharaj naturally thinks there is a miscarriage because she was pregnant. But now there is no child, so he feels there is a miscarriage. Now, the Supreme Lord is so intelligent; he is so smart. You see, we were discussing about the point as to why Balaram appears in the womb. First reason to clean the anarthas, but the second and very interesting reason, the Supreme Lord orchestrates a miscarriage. Now, when there is a miscarriage, the next child that is going to appear, will you consider that child seven or eight? कंफ्यूजन This was the same confusion that comes from Maharashtra. Agla bacha saato hai kya aato hai? And this was the one of the intentions that the Lord wanted to confuse him. 
6 tak first 6 were perfect now the seventh miscarriage he doesn't know whether the next child is seventh or eight he knows that eighth child is going to kill but he doesn't know next child is seventh or eighth so there is confusion Krishna the Bhagavad Gita very beautifully says in the 10th chapter text 36 he says of the cheats I am the greatest gambler if we are smart the Lord is way more intelligent than all of us maybe we can just avoid the side conversations please so if we are smart of the cheats the Lord is the greatest gambler and now comes our scratching his head whether the next child is 7 or is he 8 because there is a miscarriage and Balaram Prabhu very swiftly has done his work and has gone there to Vrindavan and very interesting he stays in the womb of Devaki for 7 months and he stays in the womb of Rohini for 8 months to all the mothers here what happens when the child comes in this world before 9 months premature, premature baby is weak if he comes over 9 months healthy if he comes 15 months 6 months after the actual due he is Balaram he has to be Balaram Shri Balaram Prabhu Ki Jai if the child is before 9 he is weak if he is on time he is perfect if he is after he is very strong another example Shukadev Goswami when we say strong it is not just the biceps and triceps but Strength also means spiritual strength. Shukadev Goswami symbolizes spiritual strength, while Balaram Prabhu symbolizes spiritual and physical strength. So Balaram Prabhu seven here, eight there, seven plus eight, fifteen. 15. After fifteen months, he comes out as the child of Rohini, Rise Rohini Nandan. Jaya Rama Ghata Jaya Rohini. Sashanka Chakram Sakirita Kundalam Sapita Vastram Sarasiru Heksham Shanka hmm. Sahara Vakshastala Tausu, yes He appeared with Shanka, Chakra, Gadha and Padma When was the last time our child appeared with Shanka, Chakra, Gadha, Padma? <laughs> pair and symbols, pair is pink, Shanka, Chakra, Gadha, Padma, Mukut, Pitambar Vesh <laughs> Shila Guru Maharaj was speaking on this first time Shilak Guru Maharaj very hilariously said He said Everyone understands Hindi? Yes Shilak Guru Maharaj said He said Ye hote hai Bhagavan Jab Bhagavan avatar leta hai Pitambar Vesh bhi khud swayam leke aate hai Aur aaj ke bachche khud ka diaper bhi saath leke aate hai He said he said, this is the Supreme Lord. When he comes, he brings his own dhoti also. But children of this world, when they come, they can't even bring their own diaper. <laughs> Guru Maharaj was, was very hilariously remarking. This is Bhagavan. When he comes, he doesn't depend on anyone. He brings everything, Kutka. He came, huh? He comes with the luggage. He comes with his own luggage and his own parshas. Swaparsha the Sviya Dhamma Sahavatari Ashtakam's ka fayda hai So he comes with his own parshat and he comes completely p-decked 
Wenn der kann man ja so das. Her mouth is open. Eight child. I thought my eight child is going to be two-handed. But here is the eight child with weapons. Signs and symbols on his feet. With mukut, with dhoti. And he's radiating. He's effulgent. It was a shock for Maya Devaki. And that too in the jail. So she looks at the Supreme Lord. And at that time the Lord starts speaking. The Supreme Lord, he says, Yadha yadha hi dharmasya Glane bhavati bharata Afyuktana mayarmasya start speaking as to how he advanced. Paritranaya sadhu nam. He comes to protect his devotees. And vinashaya chadushkritam. To annihilate the demons, the miscreants. Dharma samstar panathaya sambhavami yuge yuge. Millennium after millennium, the Supreme Lord advanced. And if you are looking out for the math, the Supreme Lord appears once in 8.64 billion earthly years. Once in 8.6 billion earthly years is when Sri Krishna appears. And the consecutive Kali Yuga is when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears. Once in a day of Brahma, in our second session, Ramukha Prabhu's place, bored. Yad hai? Yes. The lifespan of Brahma, Chatu Yuga, Divya Yuga. Remember, right? Yeah. There we made the point that one day of Brahma is 8.6 billion or 8.64 billion earthly years. And Supreme Lord as Krishna appears once in a day of Brahma, which means once in a day, once in 8.6 billion earthly years. So Krishna appears in Dwaraka, in, in Dwapar Yuga, I'm sorry. Krishna appears in Dwapar and naturally the subsequent Kali is when Gauranga Mahaprabhu appears. And that was 500 years back. That was 500 years back. That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who appears, once in more than 8.6 billion years was this 500 years back. That is why this Kali is called as Dhanya Kali. Our Acharya comment this Kali is called as Dhanya Kali. It's not just Kali, but it is Dhanya Kali. It's the most fortunate Kali. Because in every Kali, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doesn't come down. In this Kali, he came down. And that is why we are fortunate. Because that was just Patsho Sal Just 500 years back. So, the Supreme Lord appears in this 400 very beautiful form and he starts speaking this way as to why he is adventing. And when he's speaking all this, Maya Devaki, she hears and she says, wait a minute. I was told eight child will appear and I thought eight child means two-handed. But you are four-handed. Come back, come back to two-handed form. I don't want this four-handed form. And you are Bhagavan, right? So come back to two-handed form and just go somewhere. Just disappear. If Kamsa sees you in this 400 form, he will start chasing you. He will kill you. Motherly love. <laughs> Bhagavan is standing. He is coming to assure. In 400 form, he is coming with Chanka Chakra Gada Padma. But Devaki's love is so much, it has eclipsed the godly beauty of Mahavishnu. And she is saying, Kamsa will come and kill you. You become a 200 form and just go somewhere. Just leave this place. Just run away from here. So Supreme Lord says, Thik hai. If this is what my mother desires, I will do it. So you may be thinking that we chanted three verses, but what are we discussing? This is the import to the first word, Tathascha. All this, whatever we discuss is this Tathascha. The word Tathascha means thereafter. When do we say thereafter? If I suppose say therefore. If I say therefore, it means I have said something earlier and to substantiate that I am saying therefore. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Out of nowhere we will we'll not say therefore. If I said something in the past, to substantiate that point I say therefore. Likewise, when we say thereafter, when we are saying thereafter, this means pehle kuch bola gaya hai aur us baat ko sit karne ke liye, to make, substantiate that point, we are saying something. Shukadev Goswami is starting the words by saying tathastha, thereafter. What after? 
all this whatever we discussed the supreme lord adventing balaram prabhu going there the mool sankarshan and the amsha fusing together mahavishnu coming the form of 400 tathascha now tathascha shaurir bhagavat prachodita vasudev maharaj is called as shauri why we will see that but tathascha shaurir bhagavat prachodita prachodita means to speak who spoke bhagavat prachodita which means bhagavan spoke mahavishnu appears and mahavishnu speaks tathascha shaurir bhagavat prachodita he spoke to whom shauri vasudev maharaj now very interesting next line sutam samadaya sasuti ka grihat suti ka grihat means a maternity room suti ka grihat means a maternity room now you may have this question that jail mein kaha maternity room <laughs> when was the last time you saw a maternity room in a jail here our acharya's comment sutika grihat is a maternity room but when devaki would deliver babies in that jail to the corner there were curtains put yeah. on all four sides there were curtains put so whenever she had to deliver she would go there and she would deliver so it was a makeshift maternity room now the actual but just a makeshift one so sutika grihat means a maternity room but now coming back to the first word sutam samadaya who spoke bhagavan spoke samadaya means to lift sutam means child who spoke bhagavan spoke whom is vasudev maharaj lifting his child sutam is it ringing some bells ideally it should be tathascha shauri bhagavat prachodita bhagavan spoke and bhagavat samadaya and he lifted bhagavan But Chukadev Goswami is not saying that. He is saying who spoke? Bhagavat Prachodita. Bhagavan spoke. But whom did Vasudev Maharaj lift? His child. Now is making sense? There is some gap here. It should be Bhagavat Prachodita or Bhagavat Samadaya or Sutam Prachodita or Sutam Samadaya. But the first line says Bhagavat Prachodita, which means Bhagavan spoke. But the next line says Sutam Samadaya, which means Vasudev Maharaj picked up his child. Which means. from the first line to the second line is the transformation of the 400 vishnu to the 200 krishna mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. bhagavat prachodita 400 krishna vishnu spoke sutam samadaya now the transformation has happened you see bhagavatam is playing between lines just between two words so much emotions are rising from bhagavat prachodita to sutam samadaya the 400 has come back to a 200 krishna interestingly shukadev goswami when he is speaking It's not like our Saturday class that the speaker has prepared and then he's coming and presenting. It's on the spot. He is speaking real time, and his emotions are rising and not just rising, but he is translating that to the words also. He is saying, "The thus the shaurir Bhagavat prachodi the Bhagavan spoke, but Vasudev Maharaj did not pick up Bhagavan. Sutam samadaya. He picked up his own child. So here the transformation is there. It's not explicitly given, but our Acharya comment. This is the understanding." Sutam samadaya sasuti ka griha. Now a two-handed form is present. Now Vasudev Maharaj takes the two-handed Sri Krishna. Now please be attentive. Vasudev Maharaj takes the two-handed Krishna, places that Krishna in the box. This box was nicely filled with some nice blankets and things like that. Like there is a small child is going to come in a family. The parents make some previous arrangements. So Vasudev Maharaj had made some arrangements, and this box was filled with nice blankets. So he put the child, whom Krishna, Sutam, he put his child in that, kept the box on his head. Now, his feet are shackled. Now, just please be attentive here. We will start hearing things that probably we have not heard. Now the feet are shackled. Now. When someone is shackled, you see animals are shackled. There are two ways of shackling animals: shackling by their neck, like you see cows. Generally, cows they put a rope. Like farm में जाएंगे तो गले में रहता है. And second is feet. Two types of shackling. But here Acharya's comment that Vasudev Maharaj and Devaki were not shackled on their neck, but they are shackled on their feet. So much so that they could walk semi-circular. Now, if you close your eyes, you can imagine. Vasudev Maharaj's feet and Devaki Maharaj Devaki Maya's feet were shackled 
and only one feet was shackled. Another feet was left open. One feet was only shackled and they could walk semicircular. So they can walk up to a particular distance but not after that. Real torture. But now, when Vasudev Maharaj goes to pick that Krishna, box medal diye, he is taking that Krishna and now when he keeps it on the head, multiple things happen. First thing that happens is when that Krishna is taken, when that Krishna is lifted, that is the point Maya Yashoda gives birth to a baby girl in Braj. All this while baby girl had not appeared. When Krishna as Vishnu was speaking, the baby girl had not appeared. But now when the child is lifted, Prabhupada comments here in the translation, we can, we can see it later. When the, girl, when the child is lifted, that is Krishna, Sutam Samadaya, that's when the baby girl appears. Now, multiple things happen. When the child is lifted, the shackles break. The shackles that were there completely breaks. And there is a beautiful commentator by the name Sripad Harisuri. He gives different reasons in this whole past time. And now starts our actual, the class of reasons. So you'll see multiple reasons will start coming. First, when Vasudev Maharaj put that Krishna on the box and he kept it on his head, the shackles broke. What is the teaching in our life? Vasudev Maharaj keeps Krishna on the box and when was Vasudev Maharaj about to go to Gokul Mahavan? Early morning. Because 12 o'clock Vishnu appeared. But by the time all this speaking and all this Bhagavatam class was done, it was probably 1 o'clock at night. So it was early morning. So early morning, with Krishna in the box, Vasudev Maharaj is about to go out of the jail and that's when the shackle breaks. What is the teaching? Krishna in Kali is appearing as Harinam. This is the box. Early morning is the time of Brahma Murta. If during Brahma Murta, we like Vasudev Maharaj can keep Krishna in the box of our tongue, then just like the shackles of Vasudev Maharaj broke, the shackles of Janma Mrityu Jaragyadi will completely break for all of us. This is if it is one o'clock, there is only one person who will join. There is only one person who will join at one o'clock. She will be the admin, she will be the admin. Prabhu, to be Bhakta, to be Sarota. Giving you the ownership of Zoom. Radhikali Namataji, they are the password. So first reason, Vasudev Maharaj keeps Krishna in the box and the shackles break. What is the teaching for us? He takes Krishna in the early hours of the morning, which means if we as Krishna Nam carry Krishna in the box of our tongue, in the early morning, that is Brahma Murta, then the shackles of repeated birth and death will break for all of us. Sripad Harisuri comments to this pastime by saying, What is so astonishing? He says, If the repeated shackles of birth and death can break, why is it astonishing to see some iron or metal shackles break? If shackles of birth and death can break, what are these shackles? Pachas sa rupe ka shackle hai. What, will, what is so astonishing about it? Hare Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. First reason. Second. Second. Probably this is little more relatable for us. When Vasudev Maharaj was going out, outside the jail were doorkeepers. There were hungry lions. Vishwanath Chakravarti Chakur comments, there were hungry lions sitting outside. And third, there were stone slabs that were kept. Which means if you open the gate, Gaur Premanande. The stone slabs will fall. So doorkeepers with, with nice weapons, hungry lions outside. There there outside and stone slabs are there, which means Z security. There is no way Vasudev Maharaj or Devaki can ever exit out. But now, very interesting happens. 
shackles break krishna is there on the head and the moment vasudev maharaj is about to go outside all the door keepers sleep all the lions sleep what does this mean it means the speaker of hari katha is like vasudev maharaj hmm? don't look at me <laughs> it's it's a poetic expression the speaker of hari katha is like vasudev maharaj he is carrying krishna katha who is not different from krishna now when the speaker like vasudev maharaj is carrying krishna who is not different from hari katha when that hari katha is coming and when we sleep it only signifies <laughs> we are on kamsa maharaj side <laughs> the next time we sleep during hari katha it shows that we are in kamsa maharaj side because kamsa maharaj door keeper sleep it's the same logic <laughs> right it's the same logic <laughs> so choice is ours we can either be on kamsa maharaj side or because the speaker is like vasudev and krishna katha is not different from that krishna and when vasudev maharaj was getting that krishna door keeper slept which means if we sleep during hari katha <laughs> fill in the blanks <laughs> so this is why our acharya's comment shripad hari suri here it is shripad hari suri's realization it is not my realization shripad hari suri is saying that if someone sleeps during hari katha how much ever boring the speaker is how much ever ugly face the speaker carries but if someone sleeps during hari katha it symbolizes that they are on kamsa maharaj side those who are sleeping loudly say hari ko <laughs> Only Shri Ji Mata didn't say. I don't know. I said. 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 I said
Those who want to leave have other commitments or are tired, feel free to walk out. There is there is no harm in it because we all have had a tough day. If you are feeling tired, feel free to walk. It's nine. I will go for another thirty minutes. Yes. Hari Bol. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Hari Bol. Nine thirty. I will go. So I will last for another thirty minutes. Bad man. Shila Radhanath Maharaj. Back. When Shila Radhanath Maharaj came to the Farmington Hills. Hari Bol. When Shila Radhanath Swami Maharaj came to Farmington Hills, Yugal Kishor Prabhu's temple there. And Maharaj was giving the opening lecture, first class. That it was a first class, and it was a first class. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was giving the class, and uh, Maharaj was very engrossed in speaking the way Maharaj is always. And they put a slip, and the slip read ten minutes from in. So Maharaj saw that slip. Mm, Maharaj saw that slip, and he said. The slip says 10 minutes remaining, and Maharaj kept it. He spoke for another 40 minutes from there. Then he picked up the slip. Then he picked up the slip and said, "The slip still reads 10 minutes remaining." <laughs> Maharaj spoke. Jitna Maharaj ko baat karna tha. Maharaj spoke, and then at the end he said, "It still says 10 minutes remaining, but I will stop." <laughs> so don't worry, I don't have a slip, and I am not going to do that. <laughs> Back to our discussion. So we saw two reasons till now. Third, what was the first one, by the way? The cleansing of the mind. The cleansing of the mind. You connected that to the morning chanting. Morning. Oh, yeah. Second. Kamsa. Kamsa. Those who are sleeping are also kamsa. This is a point we will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> sleeping, we will never forget. Third. Shri Pad Hari Suri and Shri Lavishma Chakravarti comment that. Hmm? Are we all there? Yeah. Yes. Shri Pad Hari Suri and Shri Lavishma Chakravarti comment that there were 16 gates. It was not one gate, not one jail. Gate, 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 gate. Like that, 16 gates. And every gate has a doorkeeper, lion, stone slab. Doorkeeper, lion. Stone slab. Maximum security. <laughs> Maximum security. Set security. There is no way Vasudev Maharaj can leave. But now something interesting happens. When Vasudev Maharaj is having Krishna in the box on his head, when Vasudev Maharaj is going, the first gate opens. All the gates don't open at the same time. The moment he comes close to the gate, the gate opens. Goes to the second gate, the gate opens. Goes to the third gate, the gate opens. B. Also has sixteen coverings, five knowledge acquiring, five working, one mind. मतलब कितना हुआ पाँच पाँच एक eleven. भूमेरा पर अनलवायु कमलों बुद्धिरे वचा आहंकार देयम ने इतना प्रकृति रस्ता seven four गीता five element भूमेरा पर अनलवायु कम earth water fire air ether so how much eleven plus five Sixteen. Five knowledge acquiring, five working, one mind, which means eleven, and which means we also have sixteen prison-like coverings. But Vasudev Maharaj is teaching us anyone who carries Krishna in their lives, these sixteen prison-like cross and subtle coverings open and they get liberated. The sixteen gate. Don't connect that sixteen gates to your sixteen rounds of chanting. <laughs> Prabhu ji, morning 16 rounds are also like 16 gates of prison for us. That is not the interpretation. <laughs> that is not the interpretation, and that is not bona fide. Varna baad ja ke bolenge ke Arjun sir ka Prabhu said 16 gates. It is like 16 rounds of chanting. It is like a prison house. I said nahi hai. We also have 16 coverings, gross and subtle. And Shri Pad Hari Suri comments by saying these 16 coverings. Will break open or will open for us completely when we carry Krishna in our lives, just like Vasudev Maharaj carried Krishna in his life. Point one. Point two. Shri Pad Hari Suri comments by saying, if we, like Vasudev Maharaj, have the desire to give Krishna to others, 
Vasudev Maharaj was going to give Krishna. Similarly, if we as sadhakas have the desire to give Krishna to others, then the prison like 16 gates of gross and subtle coverings will open for all of us. Two points, carrying Krishna in our life and second, desiring to give Krishna to others like the way Vasudev Maharaj gave. Hmm? So, three points. After all this, we will take Q&A at the end. I just so, want to just cover want to repeat the second, second point. Can you repeat the second point? So, the first point was <coughs> Vasudev Maharaj is teaching us that if you are carrying Krishna in your life, then 16 in prison, like the gates, like gross and subtle coverings open. Second point, if you have the desire to give Krishna to others, Vasudev Maharaj was going to give Krishna to them. If you preach, doesn't matter what the audience is, it can be DYS, it can be Bhakti Gita, it can be Bhakti Shastri, it can be newcomers, it can be whoever you are. Krishna doesn't see all those things. Whatever the audience is, even if it's only one person in the audience, if the desire to give Krishna to others is there, then these 16 gates like gross and subtle coverings open. Vasudev Maharaj. Hmm? 16 coverings cool, yeah? <laughs> they, they were shaking their hand because like, oh, okay. He told me he's going to give me knowledge. Huh? He told me he's going to like, give me knowledge. No, I thank you. <laughs> so, Vasudev Maharaj with Krishna, he comes out after crossing the 16 prison houses, he finally comes out. And when, when he finally comes out with Krishna, Shukadev Goswami comments that Vasudev Maharaj is blissful. There is not a drop of sweat. He is blissful. What will we do when we come out of the jail? Feeling relaxed with Krishna, hashtag feeling safe. <laughs> Facebook update, Facebook story, Snapchat. Feeling safe with Krishna, hashtag. <laughs> Relatable? Kids? Feeling safe, hashtag. That is what we will do. Pahila loko pata nekar. With Krishna and 35 others, feeling loved. <laughs> But Vasudev Maharaj doesn't do any of these things. He is blissful. He is happy. He is feeling completely blissful and he is feeling completely happy. Now, 